Hey, I'm Donald Bell, and today we're taking a first look, an official first look, at the Motorola Zoom. This is an Android-based tablet with a 10.1-inch screen, 32 gigabytes of storage, and a price tag of $800 off contract, or $600 with a two-year commitment from Verizon. It's around the same size as the original iPad, although it has more of a widescreen dimension, and the bezel around the screen isn't as wide. It's definitely heavier than the iPad, which sounds like a small complaint, but tablets are something you spend a lot of time holding. On the bottom, you have connections for micro USB and micro HDMI, though you'll need a dock if you want to get video out from this thing. On the top, you have a headphone out and a door that covers up the micro SD memory card slot for additional storage and a 4G SIM card slot for the 4G support that's coming later this year. There's volume control on the left side and on the back, you get a five megapixel camera and flash and a pair of stereo speakers you also see the power buttons over here on the back. Now, it's a little weird to have the speakers blasting out away from you, but it's nice that you don't actually run the risk of covering them up with your hands. You also get a two megapixel camera on the front that works with video chat apps like Google Talk. One of the biggest differences between the Zoom and all the Android tablets we reviewed in 2010 is the lack of tactile navigation buttons on the home screen. And this is a good thing. Controls for back, search, and menu have all moved onto the touchscreen thanks to the latest version of Android made specifically for tablets. Verizon and Motorola are the first to have Android 3.0, and it's a big part of why this tablet is so special. You get all the stuff that makes Android great. There's full support for Android Market, official Google Apps for Gmail, Maps, GPS navigation, and Calendar. A lot has changed, though. The browser has this tabbed interface that works more like a desktop browser than a smartphone. You get this nice big keyboard, Notifications and settings are down here on the bottom. And generally, all the included apps have been overhauled for the larger screen of the tablet. So now the big question. Is this thing a real competitor to the iPad? From my perspective, there's no doubt. It's fast, it's pretty, and you can see that a lot of thought went into the execution. It's not cheap, though. And with so many tablet options coming out this year, I'd stay away from contracts like the plague. Verizon and Motorola have the lock on Android 3.0 for now, but there are many eager contenders on the horizon. So that's the Motorola Zoom from Verizon. For CNET.com, I'm Donald Bell.